came across a uh, uh, article from ScreenRant.com regarding the first omen. Okay. Mm. I um must say, you know, one of the things I stated in my trailer reaction a couple of days ago, if you hadn't seen it yet, it's it's up. Um that I was concerned of what they might do. It appears that's exactly what they're doing. I'm not happy. <laughs> it's like, it's as if they want to take every classic horror franchise and kind of do away with certain parts of the lore that made it the big franchise that it was. You know, um, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Let me explain. I have the article here. I'm going to share it with you guys right now, uh, if you allow me. Let me see if I can do it this way. Do I look better this way? Yeah, let's do it this way. It says here, the first omen is already breaking the franchise's weirdest canon, but has to. And it says right underneath, one of the strangest parts of the omen lore will be seemingly be omitted from the first omen, which will be necessary for the prequel's narrative. What's that about? Well, allow me to read parts of the article for you so that you can see what I mean. If you give me a chance here, let me, uh, I'll read it to you. Uh, just give me a sec. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, this is going to hurt. All right, so I'm going to read it to you. First of all, there's bullet points. Let's start with the bullet points. It says here, bullet point one. The first omen is revamping the franchise to capture the creepiness of the original and explore the origin of the evil child Damien. Okay, fair enough. Sounds fine, right? Then, this is where it hurts. The prequel will change Damien's birth origin story, replacing his jackal mother with an inverted immaculate conception involving a nun impregnated by Satan. I'm going to keep reading. I'm just going to read through it, and then we're going to discuss. Bullet point three. The change was necessary to add a human element and allow for a compelling story in the prequel. Margaret, played by Nell Tiger Free, will have a significant role in the birth of Damien. And then here's the article where it kind of gets a little bit more into detail. Um... First, it talks a little bit about the trailer. Uh, the sequels expand upon the original movie's diabolical premise. The prequel will return to the origin of the evil child at the center of the franchise. That's what it says in the first sentence. The second sentence um, says this. As the omen details the mysterious occurrences that surround the child Damien Thorne, it becomes clear that the child is, in fact, the prophesized Antichrist. Okay. However, no sequel has ever explored exactly how or why the child Damien came to be born. It's in here. Which is unusual for a genre, which often relies on origin story once a friend... I can't, it's hard to read this. Which is unusual for a genre, which often relies on an origin stories once a franchise progresses far enough down the proverbial rabbit hole. The first Omen trailer promises that it will do just that, but to do it effectively, it needs to change, need, needs to change a major element surrounding Damien's birth. Check it out. It says here, in the Omen, the child Damien is adopted by an American diplomat whose recently born child died immediately. He never tells his wife that the child they took home is not, in fact, the one she actually gave birth to. As the movie progresses, it's emphasized repeatedly that Damien's real mother was a literal jackal and his father was Satan himself. This is pognantly highlighted by the discovery of a jackal carcass in what is supposed to be the grave of Damien's mother. This is revealed in the first movie, of course. Okay, keep going. The first omen is set to change the circumstances of Damien's birth. The plot synopsis for the movie reveals that Damien will be born thanks to an elaborate conspiracy within the church in Rome and that while he is indeed the son of Satan, his mother will not 
be a jackal. Instead, the movie will execute an inverted version of the Immaculate Conception. I don't know what the hell that means. Inverted version of the Immaculate Conception. What do they mean by that? With a nun being impregnated by Satan and giving birth to Damien. The prequel likely takes place in the months directly preceding the original The Omen and may even end with the birth of Damien. An inverted why the omen had to change the canon to work. And it says here, big in letters, an inverted immaculate conception plot brings a necessary human element. So let's read this part here. Ultimately, for any prequel for the omen to work, the detail about Damien's mother being a jackal needed to be changed. If Damien's parents are an animal and Satan, then there really is nothing for a prequel to explore. That's bullshit because it's explored in the novel written by David Silter himself, the one who originated the story. It's all here. So that's a bunch of lies. Either you're stupid or you're not familiar with this material, source material, or anyway, let's keep reading. I'm really not happy here. A good narrative needs a human element to tell an effective story, and that will be reflected in the evil, immaculate conception storyline of the first omen. While more specific details about No Tiger Free's character Margaret are not yet available, it is clear that she will either be closely involved with the nun who will eventually birth Damien, or she may end up giving birth herself. Okay, that's the that's the end of the article, apparently. All right, let's talk about this for a second, please. Let's 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 really talk about this for a second. <sighs> not happy. I'm not happy one damn bit. Where do I start? First of all, human element to, to, to sustain or contain a human element. There's already a human element here. Okay. The human element is very well established. And there's a whole chapter in this novel, in the novel, right? Written by David Seltzer. That you know, who established these characters where you see the events happening that are supposed to be happening in this prequel. Apparently not. They're, they're going in a total different direction now if they're doing this, you know, um, where they present the animal that is going to birth Damien. You know, it was obvious Satan and and a jackal. Now, now the reason why this was a shocking and very crazy concept in the lore of the omen was because nobody ever thought of that before nobody ever came up with that concept up until that point you know remember in the mid 70s early to mid 70s this was a time when there were a lot of horror movies that were coming out that had to do about the demonic about satan about the you know you had rosemary's baby in 1968 you had the omen and i um, sorry the exorcist in 1973 and then you had this film and stuff like that sprinkle a few more on top of that you know and you can go you can't go as, as far as you can go without going crazy with with ideas and concepts the idea of the antichrist being born of an animal of a literal animal was is a unique concept in the lore. And for you to remove that and replace it with just a regular person, you know, who was birthed by, you know, okay, fine, the person is impregnated by Satan himself. Gee, I wonder where we saw that before. Oh, I know, Rosemary's Baby back in 1968. Done already. You're not, what is that? What is that? The, 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 you know, <sighs> I'm not happy people. They 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 really You know, it, and it's sad because I really enjoyed seeing the, the teaser trailer to this film a few days ago. Like I was like really enthralled. And to a certain degree I still am, you know, like I, I'm like in order for you to you know, there's only one thing left to do now. Just wait for the movie and watch it. I'm going to watch it no matter what. I, I want to see what the hell they do with it. But already this raises a serious red flag to how good this is going to be. I don't think it's going to be good, you know, because they're replacing it with it. And what's funny is to bring the more human element. There's nothing human here. Okay. We're talking about 
a fallen angel impregnating a woman, you know, uh, to give birth to the Antichrist, to, to fulfill the biblical prop, you know. But in order, now, now you're, not only are you, this is supposed to be a prequel to the 1976 film, but now what you're doing is you're, you're, you're undoing the 1976 film. Because in the 1976 film, Father Brennan tells Robert Thorne he was born of a jackal, or he tried to tell him he was born of a jackal. He's, in the book, he, he was able to come right out to it, but in the movie, they, they kind of like storm into the office before he gets a chance to finish the sentence. So he doesn't really get to hear that. He doesn't get to discover that until they open up the grave of Damien's mother. By the way, the name on the tombstone, Maria Schiama, was the name of Damien's supposed mother. You know, apparently they're going to get rid of that too, unless that's the name of the, they retain that name for this prequel. I don't know. You know, but what, what I do know is that they open the grave in the original film and they find the carcass of a, they find the skeletal remains of a jackal. Okay, and that's something that is let, brought up in Omen 2 and in the final conflict. You know, that that it's it's clear. As a matter of fact, in Omen 2, if for those of you who saw Omen 2, remember the scene when the doctor, there was a doctor that was examining Damien's um, blood and he saw that his chromosome structure was different and he actually matched it up with the chromosome structure of a jackal. He found that, he, he discovered, the he got killed before he had a chance to discover, you know, in the ele that elevator scene where he gets cut in half. But, but you know, his, his DNA screams it throughout the whole franchise. By doing what you're doing in this prequel, you're undoing that, you're making a split. You're doing another split, and this is, and they did this with, you know, David Gordon Green did this with Halloween, with the Halloween trilogy, you know? One of the big things of what made the Halloween franchise so huge and so famous was the whole concept and idea of Laurie Strode being Michael Myers' sister. The Halloween uh, sequels, you know, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, did away with that, and it was a complete, direct sequel to the original 1978 film by which John Carpenter admittingly at that time when he made that film in 1978 the original classic didn't have the concept of Laurie being Michael's sister it was it wasn't there which is why I found that a little bit more forgiving but it was still more painful to in a way to not like the idea that Halloween 2 which is my you know admittedly even I tend to watch that film more than the original 1978 film, you know, they took that out of the canon. So now what they're doing here is they're removing a big thing out of the Omen canon that Damien was born of a jackal. They're making him born of an inverted immaculate conception. Do you even, do they even know what that means? What the term immaculate conception means? It's like, I'm, I'm Catholic. It's for those of you who don't know what that means. For those of you who aren't Catholic or whatever, um, let me let me explain to it. The Immaculate Conception is a Catholic belief that it is believed that the Virgin Mary, who gave birth to Jesus, was herself when she was when she herself was conceived was conceived without the stain of original sin that we've all inherited from you know all of us you know. So therefore, she wasn't born. She was not conceived and born with the sin nature that we all have, you know, which made her, you know, and this was in preparation for her becoming um, the mother of Jesus. That's what they're talking about, this being the inverted version of. And I just don't see how that's an inverted version. To be honest with you, I think they just wanted to make that sound pretty on an article. I am so disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, they're, they're, you know, and they, they're doing this to so many horror movies these days, man. They did it with Halloween. They, they, they did it with the, the Exorcist Believer. They, they completely, you know, 
and you saw my rant on that one. Why well, I took away a coffee cup? You know the whole thing. What they did with that, with with Chris McNeil's character, the character of Chris McNeil, they basically undid that. Okay, so so now and now they're doing this to another great franchise. You know, I, a prequel, a prequel, no less. It's not even a sequel legacy movie like the others were. It's a prequel. You know, so it's like as if we're going into a freaking multiverse of different versions of the same horror genre. But here it's even worse because it's a prequel. They're, 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 I can't believe they're doing this. You know, the human element, it's, it's a human element anyway. Okay, first of all, the whole thing is crazy because, you know, for Satan to impregnate anything, much less a human being or an animal, doesn't, it's not even the point. And I'm not saying that the, franchise or the lore of the omen is all centered on Damien having to have been born from an animal but that's what added to to the the, the it, it was just a, an incredible shocking um uh addition to the mystique and and the mystery and the and the and uh, to the lore of it you know and, and for you to remove that to, to make it seem more what do you want it to be more believable? This none of this is believable, okay? You know that first of all, you know I mean if you're gonna go to that route, might as well not even have him be a son of Satan because even that, as, as even real Christians, much less Catholics, will tell you that can, you know uh, with the true beliefs of, of of end time prophecy and all that kind of stuff, no, nobody believes that the Antichrist is the actual son of Satan. He'll be possessed by Satan or something like that, but not the actual son that he was going to be born. You know, no. You know, so, but it, it drives me nuts. However, there are early church fathers or, or, or mystics that have made prophecies about the Antichrist. Not prophecies, but theories, I guess, um, that the Antichrist will be born of, a, of a, either a, a, a Jewish nun or some kind of a nun. You know, and a, and the evil, whatever, whatever. You know, so so the whole thing of of the antichrist being born of a nun, you know, yeah, sure, I get it. You know, fine, you know, but nothing beats the shock value of it being a jackal or a, much less any animal. And you guys took that away. You better, you guys better out there in, in Fox Studios. You better know what you're doing because if I go into that movie theater and walk out, I'm gonna give you guys a bad effing review, okay? Because if, if the Exorcist believer got got it bad, you guys will get it worse because you took it. You're taking a big piece of the of the cake there. Anyway, yeah, that's my rant. So Screen Rant had their rant, and I'm having my rant. You know. I do not like this. I am not happy with this. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's how I feel about it. You know, this this has been an incredible lore for many, many, many decades at this point. And um, it's sad that they're ripping a few pages off of this original story for the sake of making a good story and I think they could have made a good story out of that that how can what's so wrong what's so hard about doing that why did a human element no you could have still made a good story with the idea of there being a it being a jackal still you know keeping that there I I, I would have made it work I would have thought harder about it people when you were writing the story to the first omen you would have been like okay how do we keep the whole thing about the jackal thing Whose idea was it that, ah, no, we should get rid of that because that's just too much. Too much. The whole thing is too much. Being born of uh, the son of Satan is already too much. You're already in the game, you know? So it, it's it's perturbing. And I know, I know it sounds crazy hearing it from somebody like me, but as a horror fan of the original franchise and, uh, and who knows who's very well versed in the lore, of course you're going to get beef from somebody like me. Who knows what he's talking about? My question is, what are you guys out there on Fox Studios talking about? What are you coming up with? What are we going to watch in April? What kind of story is this going to be? How is this going to make you... How is this going to make me come out of the theater and go, you know what, that was pretty damn good. That was good. All right, finally wasn't born in Jekyll, but damn, that was freaking good. 
yo, you better come up with a good version of this for me to come out of there with that smile, with a smile on my face, regardless. Otherwise, you're in for some, you're in for a lot of crap, not just from me, but from other people in the horror community that are purists, as myself, who are into the lords of our fran beloved franchises that don't like people screwing with it. Stop screwing with our freaking loving franchises, man. You're doing it with all the good stuff. Why don't you mess with something else? Huh? <laughs> bothers me, man. It's so annoying. I can't believe they're doing this. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Talk to me. Comment below. Let me know what you think here on Horror and Coffee about this announce change they're doing to the omen lore in order to make a good story whatever the hell that means at this point it's frustrating until next time i'll see you guys rough perez take care